You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a deeper look at planet Earth. Do you want to join us? The Earth is the only known planet to have life. Hold on tight. Here we go. Now we are on Earth, a planet full of life. That is why it is so important for us to protect and take care of the environment. Hello Earthling! I am going to tell you some interesting facts about the planet where you Earthlings come from. Like the other planets, the Earth rotates around the Sun and it takes 365 days to complete a full orbit. We call this a complete revolution. Thanks to this revolution, we have different seasons throughout the year and days and nights have different lengths. At the same time, the Earth rotates around itself and it takes 24 hours to complete a full trip. This movement is called rotation. The Earth's rotation is responsible for the change between day and night and for the rising and falling of temperatures. Did you know that many years ago people thought that the Earth was flat like a pizza? Now you can see the Earth has the shape of a sphere. Approximately 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water. Did you like this quick trip around the Earth? Now it's time to collect all the information you have learned. Have a good trip! You are looking at the solar system. We are going to learn about the Sun. Do you want to come? The solar system gets its name from the Sun because all the planets depend on it. Hold on tight. Here we go. Now we are near the Sun, the solar system's only star. We can't get much closer because the temperature is extremely high. The Sun is the center of the solar system and all the planets make their orbit around it. Hello Earthling, it's so hot! I'll tell you some interesting things about this star. The Sun is enormous! Its diameter is 109 times bigger than the Earth's! The energy the Sun gives off is necessary for life on Earth. It is important to protect yourself from the Sun. Its ultraviolet rays are very harmful to human skin. The sun is a ball of hot gas that is made primarily of hydrogen and helium. If we travelled on a passenger plane from the earth to the sun, we would need 20 years to make it there. That is definitely a long trip. You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at the moon. Do you want to come? It is the satellite that orbits around the Earth and we can see it in the sky depending on its phases. Grab on, we're headed that way. We are now on the moon, the only natural satellite that belongs to the planet Earth. We always see the same side of the moon because it takes the same amount of time to rotate around itself as it does to orbit the Earth. On the moon, there are a lot of craters made from meteor showers that crash against the surface. Be careful! Hello Earthling! I welcome you to the moon! Life has never been found here, but we know that the force of its gravity allows for life on Earth. It is responsible for the tides that are on Earth, and without it, the sea level would rise along the coasts. On the moon, we can find a lot of minerals, for example, ilmenite, from which we can get oxygen. The moon is the only place outside of Earth that man has visited. The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong on the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The distance between the moon and the earth is 384,400 kilometers. It's not that close, is it? Did you know that we can fit all the planets between them? Every year, the moon gets a little bit further 
away from the Earth. There is less gravity on the Moon than on the Earth. Because of this difference, you have to jump to walk. Like this! Did you like this quick trip around the Moon? Now you can go back to Earth to share all the information that you've learned. Have a good trip! Whoa, what a trip! We have learned so many things about this satellite. Do you want to keep learning? Click on the seal and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel to keep up to date with all our new adventures.